Hello, Pam here, and I'm going to do a three-part reflection video series, and this is part one. So this reflection series is called Reflect on the Past for a Better Future. So that's the name of the general series, and I'm going to take you through three ways of either setting goals or doing exercises that lend themselves to setting goals. So the first exercise I want to talk about involves SMART goals. So if you've never heard of a SMART goal, it's an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Timely. You might hear slightly different variations for what each of those letters stand for, but that's the one that I'm going to share with you. So oftentimes we may set a goal like, I wanna take a vacation, or I wanna lose weight. And that's fine, but they're just considered subjective goals. They're not really definitive, they're not very specific, and it's really hard to measure. So with the first one, well, when do you wanna take a vacation? Where do you wanna go? Who will you go with? So there's lots of questions that are left unanswered with that kind of goal. Or with the second example, I wanna lose weight. Well, how much weight do you wanna lose? When do you wanna lose that weight by? And how will you do it? So SMART goals helps us to identify more specifics and a timeline so that we are, as research supports, more likely to reach our goals. So I'm going to share a few examples with you. And it may take a little bit of time to practice. I don't think it necessarily comes easy for everyone if it's unfamiliar and having five steps to think about for one goal, you know, may seem a little bit overwhelming. So again, SMART for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. So we want to inc incorporate all five of those steps into our goal. So instead of, I want to take a vacation, I have I want to teach yoga in Mexico during spring break, the week of March 13th. There you go. And as it turns out, there is an organization called Fit Bodies that does hire instructors to teach at all-inclusive resorts, mostly in the Caribbean. And I, in fact, have scheduled my vacation to be the yoga instructor for a resort in Acapulco, Mexico, the week of our spring break here in Dubuque. So I set that goal and then I took the appropriate steps to plan for my trip and it is set and I'm looking forward to it at this time, less than two months from now. So my second goal, and this is per honestly just a hypothetical right now, I'm not intentionally working on this right now, but for a weight goal example, to be more specific and something that can be quantifiable or measured, I want to lose five pounds by February 28th. I want to lose five pounds by February 28th. It's specific. I can measure that with a baseline weight and knowing by February 28th if I have met my goal of losing five pounds or not. It is attainable because as of now, that's over five weeks away. And the average recommendation of what is considered safe weight loss has been for a long time and still is one to two pounds a week. It is, um, it is attainable. I feel that you know it's possible with some lifestyle changes. It's realistic. I'm not setting a goal to lose 20 pounds in the next five weeks. That would involve too many unsafe lifestyle changes. And it's timely. I gave my date, February 28th. So try for yourself if you have goals try to write them out in this way. Again, it may take some practice, but see, see how it happens, see what comes up, and then see how you are with success by the end of the timeline that you've set for yourself. Check in with your, pro your progress, your process. You might need to modify some things along the way, but just see what happens. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day or night.